usually the left side or about left side of the room is a little heavier than the right side, but there's more people on the right side today. I don't know what's going on. I'm still having a problem getting this seat here filled. I don't know what the deal is. Well, right I'm in front of there, me. But corn cob said I'm in the way of okay. the video, so I'm okay. All right, that's what the deal is. All right. Okay. Good to see all of you here this morning. Let me take a few minutes to share some announcements and we'll get started. I want to thank those of you who attended the event at Harley yesterday. Uh, you, uh, I was there in the afternoon and uh, it had thinned out pretty good. It was not as many people there as I anticipated when I arrived, but um, Praise God, I had an opportunity to really have some good visits with uh, about four different people. So uh, that turned out real good. But thank you for involving yourself in that. And I'll be announcing some other um, car shows and bike events uh, this morning that you can probably put on your, your calendar to uh, involve yourself in. Uh, say thanks to Alicia this morning for providing the Mother's Day donuts. Uh, and there are a few back there. If you would like to uh, get some, and those came from someplace near your home, right? Yes. Yeah, special, special donuts. They weren't Albertsons or they weren't Krispy Kreme. I, I have noticed that everyone says the Krispy Kreme are too sweet. Yeah. Everybody says that. Nobody, not everybody. <laughs> Somebody, some people say, how could anything be too sweet? You know, Okay, uh, please remember that we're in the middle of the baby bottle drive, so uh, we have until the 23rd to get all of that in, and uh, you can drop them back on the counter back there, and there, there are some extras if you need those also. And uh, so uh, thank you for being uh, working diligently on that, and we'll see what we can come up with in terms of what we raise through the bottles. Uh, typically, in, in the past, we've raised around $1,000, $1,100 through the bottles themselves. But the leadership team this past week voted to make up the difference. And so uh, we're going to make it a $2,400 uh, gift. Uh, so whatever comes in will help a lot. Uh, and then the church will make the difference. And uh, that will make uh, Stanton receive from the church this year uh, the same as some of the uh, uh, other ministries that we support uh, so that will make make it even across the board and uh, praise God that will make 11 ministries that, that we're actually supporting this year so we're thankful uh, to your gifts and enabling us to do that uh, 12 o'clock today we had a, a ride and drive I encourage you to uh, go on this. We're going to notice to the Garage Cafe, which is noted for really good food. Uh, and the atmosphere will be good. It's an old garage, like a 60s gas station and garage that's turned into a cafe. And it's uh, pretty neat. And uh, extra special uh, note that Doug told me this morning, uh, uh, Roy and, and oh, Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Rosie. Roy and Rosie are going to meet us there and uh, so they're going to ride over and meet us we haven't seen them for a long time and uh, we're excited about meeting them and uh, and uh, getting to see them and I think they'll have a good time uh, getting an opportunity to visit with us so ride and drive you don't have to have a motorcycle to do this you can drive uh, you can drive your Volkswagen if you want to uh, <laughs> So we'll leave here at 12 o'clock. Uh, Outback is where we'll meet and we'll take off from there. We should arrive there about 12.45 uh, is the plan. Uh, please keep this in mind. Let me ask you to make a special effort to be here next Sunday. That's uh, May the 16th. We have uh, some special people that are going to be here that we want to meet you and you to meet them. So uh, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to say who or anything else about it. 
there will be another surprise along with it, and I'm certainly not going to say any more about that. <coughs> so, be here for the surprise. Next Sunday. Uh, 9 to 4, Saturday, May the 22nd, it's going to be a high desert swap meet. So that will be an opportunity to go and uh, meet some people and maybe get a chance to share about the church or share the gospel with them or, or whatever in that manner. Uh, 12 o'clock uh, Sunday, May the 23rd is our next ride and drive. They're on the second and fourth Sundays. 12 to 4, May the 29th at High Desert's having a bike wash. And uh, I left yesterday. Belita had some other things to do and wasn't going to go with me. And uh, she said, today is not the bike wash day, is it? <laughs> and I said, no. And she said, well, I'm not going to let you go by yourself on the bike wash day. Smart. Isn't that terrible? Oh, that's All these years. 53 years we've been married next month. And, and, and she's keeping tabs on me that way. I don't know. Do you leave her seat wet? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, she trusts me. She'd let me go. She did say that, though. She let me go to the bar all those years, so I think surely she'd let me go to a bike walk by myself. Uh, 830 Thursday the 20th is our next men's breakfast in Nampa. We're back on schedule with that after our absence with COVID, so uh, please keep that in mind. We'd like to see you join us uh, for that. Uh, June the 4th through the 6th, what? What was that? 8.30 Thursday, May the 20th is the next men's breakfast. Yeah. Uh, June the 4th is our camping trip to Three Island Crossing, uh, and we would uh, just encourage you to uh, continue to be making your plans for that. I know that most of you have already made a decision to go or not go with that, and that's pretty settled and set. But for those of you that are not going, please remember the camp out is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but uh, Gordon Collette and Belita and I will be leaving to come back and have service here on the Sunday morning, the 6th. So those of you that are not going camping, please, uh, continue to uh, plan to be here uh, for the service because uh, we'll be here. 10 o'clock Saturday, June the 12th is the is a car show at the Flats. That's on uh, Highway 16, just out of Star. It's toward Emmett. Uh, you know, when you get into the curve there, when you're just a couple of miles out of Star, there's a, a, a winery and a restaurant. That's the Flats. And there's going to be a car show there the 12th, at, starting at 10 o'clock. Uh, 4.30, Sunday, June the 13th, is our 13th annual picnic. Mo has signed up for that. I forgot it today. Okay. How are we on, on getting permission to have more than 50? I, okay. I got contacted by the Central District Health. I had to jump through a whole bunch of hoops, guys, and fill out all these forms, and it's what's called an attestation form, because they noticed we had more than 50 reserved for the park. Well, I did that. They sent me a link, I did it. Then they got a hold of me and said, I filled one out for Boise, not Meridian. So I had to go back in. It took a couple hours. And I had to go back in and redo it all. Well, I heard nothing. So I got a hold of Meridian Parks and Rec, and the lady there said, don't worry, Maureen, no news is good news. And so then I emailed the lady back at Central District Health, and I said, I have redone the attestation form. You told me I filled out the wrong ones. I redid it, and she never replied back. So we're going to have a picnic. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Yeah. All right, thank you, Mo, for all that headache. Uh, and I'm sure that they will not follow up on us and come out there and count us or something. Uh, if they do, we'll just divide up in two parts, 10 feet apart. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, 10 o'clock Saturday the 26th. This is the Eagle Christian Car Show. Uh, you'll want to get that on your calendar for sure. That's a really uh, good car show. So uh, please jot that down. Uh, now, Robert has Common Ground Biker stickers. Okay, bumper stickers. Bumper stickers. Common Ground Biker Church bumper stickers. Say that 10 times real fast. So they're back there on the counter available. Anyone that would like to display those. They're really nice bumper stickers. They're very visible and uh, they can really do some good advertising for our church. We're in the process of coming out with a flyer that we're going to get to you and ask you to uh, put out places where you go on, on uh, what do you call those things? Poster boards? Uh, yeah, but what they bulletin, that's the word I'm thinking of. <laughs> bulletin boards at uh, maybe the grocery store wherever you go or wherever you live, wherever you frequent, we're gonna get some of these to you and get you to pass them out. And uh, uh, Randy has the the final version this morning that she's put together. It's awesome but we would like to have one picture changed and we're in the process of getting that taken care of and then that'll be made available to you. And uh, so you can give these out, you can do a whole lot of different things with them. So we'll be asking you to do that. Now, before anybody attacks me, I, I can't remember who asked me for one of these Common Ground Biker Church patches. Did you? Someone who asked me for one of those. Someone specifically asked me. And I said, we don't have any more. And I didn't think we had any more. Okay? But I found these. So. Okay. All right. Those of you that want them, come up now. I only have a few. I'm going to give them out to the people that show up first. Hey, it's Mother's Day. How about that? Oh, nice. Thank you. That was everyone that came up. That's how many I had. That's how many I had. Woo! Miracle. <laughs> okay. Wow, that worked out good. All right. Let me see what else I have to say here. Oh, yes. Okay. I, I, I'm going to have to take a few minutes extra this morning to share this with you. I will not read it all. It's a very, it's a two-page uh, email here. This is from Nicole in Haiti at the orphanage. Believe it, I'm not going to read all of this, so if I don't put in some things I need to, remind me of what I might need to say. <clears throat> um, things are getting worse and worse in Haiti. Uh, Nicole has been saying for three years there's going to be a civil war and they're closer to it now than they've ever been. Uh, the uh, United Nations moved out and that really triggered a lot of things to be uh, worse than they were. And uh, now Russia is getting their hands into Haiti and uh, they are supplying uh, automatic weapons to uh, people. And uh, so just lots of people are getting killed. Uh, there are whole busloads of children being kidnapped and held for ransom. Uh, they have uh, absolute no travel of Americans to Haiti, just like Iraq and Iran and, and places like that. Uh, Nicole and 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 uh, uh, what's his name? Max. 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 Yeah. Nicole and Mac got in there uh, with a load of food uh, a couple of nights ago, and uh, they got uh, brought in 24 containers or uh, buckets of emergency food. 
that they have there, but the problem is <clears throat> Americans are, any Americans there, that when they're seen with Haitian people, it puts the Haitian people's lives in danger. <clears throat> and so Nicole is in Port-au-Prince and unable to go to the orphanage simply because of the danger she would place the orphanage in. And uh, so that's a, a, a messed up situation. <clears throat> she can't be with her husband, she can't be with the kids. And I don't know what they're gonna work out uh, for that situation, but anyway, that's just uh, part of it. Uh, they are still going to school, but she's fearful, I guess, <clears throat> every day that they leave to go to school as to whether they'll make it back home because of all the things that are, that are taking place. Uh, so that's just a sort of a, a, a cross-section of what, what she's having to say in this, but she's uh, asking for prayer <clears throat> and um, just letting us know how bad things really are. And uh, what it sounds like to me is we're all old enough to remember 60 years ago what took place in Cuba with Russia. And uh, we had a, an administration uh, then that had enough sense to get in out of the rain and, uh, and enough backbone to do something about the situation. And they took care of a potentially very, very dangerous situation for our nation. But if, um, if Russia decides to move into Haiti, there'll be no one to stop them now. And uh, that is not that much further away than Cuba from the United States. And not only would that be a very bad thing for the Haitian people, but it would be a very bad thing for our nation. And so not only is this something we need to pray about from this news that we're getting from her uh, concerning what Russia is doing there, uh, for the Haitian people and the orphanage, but for our own nation and our own well-being. Uh, because Biden would do nothing but think that the Russians were our friends. Because, uh, you know, he, he used American money to buy favoritism and, and all when he was in. And so uh, he thinks they're going to return all those favors. And they'd just soon blow him up as they had you. And, uh, you know, we need to know that, but I don't think anyone in Washington that's in, in real leadership position now has, has the awareness of that. And uh, I'm not trying to be negative, I'm just being realistic. And uh, it's a sad state of affairs, uh, but that's the situation that we're in. So please make this a matter of prayer for them and for our nation also. Now, <clears throat> today is Mother's Day. Yes? The only thing I would say about that, you might think, why is she sending kids to school if buses are being kidnapped? Yeah. She actually sends those kids to school in armored vehicles. Mm -hmm. They go in their own vehicles and they are armed. Yeah. And uh, they, they have uh, armed guards around the, the compound uh, also. And uh, she says in here also that they have actually extended the height of some of the walls around the compound and uh, put razor wire and everything around all of it. And um, that's, that's the kind of thing that they're living in. Um, plus another thing is where they are, they're a little bit out of town and they only go, uh, what, five or six miles to school. And so that's a little less than being in Port-au-Prince and, and having to travel there and all. So it's a little bit safer in that way. but. Um, we know ourselves um, <laughs> how that we had to hit the deck when the gunfire started and we were out of town a long ways. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so please keep them in prayer. Now, today is Mother's Day and we want to recognize all of our mothers. So if you would please uh, stand up and let us recognize you on this special day. <laughs> Please stay up. Remain standing, okay? I'd like to find out who has the most children, okay? How many of you have five or more children? Five or more, really? So you're the winner. How many more than five? Five. Five, okay. I hit it right on the target number. Five or more, okay. 
How many of you have four? All came out. Any four? Three? Three? Three and a half. Four. Three. Okay, two. A lot of twos. Okay, yeah, a lot of twos. One. Okay, one. A lot of ones. Oh, wow. You're like my mom. I was born and she said never again. <laughs> actually, she said never again uh, to herself before I was actually delivered. <laughs> okay, a lot of a lot of ones. Okay, well, thank you for being such uh, good mothers. Don't don't sit down. Man. Stay standing. Now, here's the good thing. Uh, we had presents for you, and I left them at home. And, uh, I was going to go back and get them, and everyone advised me to just wait and bring them next Sunday. Uh, and and just to show how bad I'm getting, I had them. I had a, a list written down of things to do. And I forgot to look at my list of things to do, or I would have brought them. Uh, but anyway, we'll bring those next Sunday and get them to you, okay? But uh, Gordon's going to lead us in a special prayer of uh, blessing and thanksgiving for you as mothers. And uh, we're really happy to have you here on this uh, special day and, and uh, just hope that it, the whole day will be a special day for you, okay? Well, Lord, we just thank you for today. Lord, hello? <laughs> Lord, we just thank you for today. We thank you that we come today to honor all the mothers that are standing here today and those who couldn't make it here. We just thank you, Father, for all they've done for, um, for us as we grew up with our mothers and for their children as they grew up. For the, They carried their, their children for the teaching, for the wisdom they imparted. Uh, and some women have just gone through some heartache in their lives. And Lord, uh, words of encouragement, as it says in, in your word, Proverbs chapter 31, it says, She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. And so for all the women that have gone through uh, tough times in raising the children that they really have no control over it and, and the grief our Lord is, is his ways are bigger and better than our ways his thoughts are bigger and better than our thoughts and we just thank you that uh, you've gone ahead and paved the way for each one of these wonderful women that have, have carried the burdens of, of raising children as we go into today we just thank the Lord as we are out for the ride that there's safety where there's a hedge of protection around us at all times we thank you, Father, as we go into the word that uh, Pastor Jim has the anointing. And Lord, we just love you and praise you. And again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. Okay, we have corn cob today. Uh, we have him just a short while longer. You'll be leaving the end of the month, right? And uh, he told me a while ago that this is amazing. He had 11 bids on his house, and it's already sold. 11 bids. Amazing. But uh, let's enjoy corn cob today and, and the next couple of Sundays, and, uh, and uh, then he'll be leaving us, but uh, he'll be going to a good situation, and we're thankful that, for that for him at this uh, time in his life. Yes, please. One of the things that helped Corn Cobb's house sell was the floor that you guys put in it. That's true. Yes. The realtor told you that, right? Mm -hmm. Who told you that? The realtor. The realtor said this will help sell this house this morning. Yes. He may be leaving us physically, but not our house. Yes, that's a nice word. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we have Corn Cobb and Paulette and Company. They're going to lead us in, in uh, praise and worship. So take it away, Corn Cobb. Well, 